Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be building a basic Node API that will use a MySQL database, and it's gonna be super simple. We're just gonna use the MySQL client library and no ORMs or anything like that. So it's gonna be super basic. So let's get into it. All right, so I have the starter files open here and these are gonna be in the description as always so you guys can follow along. So right now we just have a basic node server that listens on a port. And to get started, we wanna create our database connection. So let's create a directory called config. And within here, we're gonna create a file called db.js. And this is where our actual connection is gonna take place. So first let's import the MySQL library. And then we're gonna call the mysql.create connection method. And that's basically just gonna create the connection. And inside it, we're gonna pass in some config. So I'm just gonna copy and paste. And we wanna capture this variable. So we'll do const db equals this. And then we wanna export default db. And this is just gonna make our connection accessible throughout the app. So in here, we have all these environment variables defined and we don't have any NV file yet. So let's create that. And we wanna move this to our root uh, level. And then I'm also just gonna paste in these variables. Okay, so it's gonna be on the local host and we're gonna be using the root user uh, this is the password for the user that I set up in the previous video. So if you guys didn't set that up, you guys can watch that and come back to this video. And then our database name was DemoDB. So you guys are going to have to configure this to how you guys set it up. But if you follow the video, it should be identical. And the last thing we want to do here is to call the promise method. And this is basically just going to allow us to use this database connection with async and await syntax instead of callbacks. Because by default, they use callbacks and the async await syntax is just a lot cleaner and nicer to work with. Um, and also by default, we're not gonna have access to these variables. So we're gonna import another package called .env. So this is just gonna allow us to get these environment variables from our env file. So that's it for the database and now we should be able to use it within our route handlers. So if we look at our database, we have a post table and right now it's empty. So let's create a route that adds records into that table. So we'll call app.post because we want to handle a post request and the path will be slash posts and we'll take in our handler here. And inside, the first thing we want to do is to grab the data that the client passed. So we'll just destructure it. And we want the title, content, and category. So let's get that here. And this is going to be from the request.body. And before we could actually destructure it here, we need to add the body parser middleware. So to add middleware, we call app.use. And then we want to use the express.json parser. Okay. So this is basically going to intercept every request and parse the request body and add it to this field, request.body. So without this, we wouldn't be able to get access to these. So now that we are grabbing these, we're going to do some basic validation. So we'll check if the title or the content is undefined. And if it is, we'll just return a 400, which is a bad request. And we'll send it a message, we'll also give it a message. So please send a title and content. Okay, so if we get past this, it means that there is a request or there is a title and content. We also wanna default this to null because category is optional. So now let's create our uh, database call. So to do that, we're going to first import our connection. And to use it, we'll call db.execute. And I'm actually just going to copy and paste this and then just go over it. OK, so we call the execute method. And the first parameter is a SQL string. So we'll call the insert into posts. 
we want to send these columns and the values are going to be used as placeholders here. And the second parameter is an array that will correspond to these values. So the title will go in the first question mark and then content and then category. So it's going to return an array. And the first item of that array is a result. And the second one is just some extra info about the columns, but we only care about the result. And we'll just return a success field. And that'll be dependent on if the result dot affected rows is greater than zero. So when we insert a record, the affected rows should be one, and this will result in true. So if we hit save, we're going to go over to Postman, and we're going to send this um, data. And remember to slash posts, it'll be a post request. And when we hit send, we should see success equals true. And if we check our database and we refresh, we should see that content here. Uh, it's called second post from testing, <laughs> but we could send another one like test post and send that and that should get inserted there. All right, so the post is working and now let's create a route to get all those posts. So we'll do app.get and we want slash posts again and add our handler. And this one's gonna be a bit simpler. We're just gonna call the select star method. So Okay, so this is just going to execute this SQL uh, query, and then we just want to return the results. So we'll just do res.send results. Okay, so now if we go back to Postman and we call get posts, we should get an array of the posts, and here they are. So the next one we want to add is the patch, and that's to update records. So we'll do app.patch. And for this route, it's going to be slash posts, and then we're going to pass an ID in the URL params. And this is going to be the ID of the post. OK, so the first thing we want to do is to grab that ID. And to do that, we can just destructure it. So do const ID equals request.params. And this is an object that contains all of the params that we defined with this colon here. So it should have that ID property on it. And we also are going to want to destructure the actual update. And we're just going to give them the ability to update the title. So we'll parse that from the request body. And then again, we'll do some basic validation. So if no title, then we'll just copy and paste this error message. Please send the title. Okay. Okay, so now once we got past this validation, we want to actually do the update. So again, I'm just going to paste that so you guys don't have to watch me type. So we're going to do this SQL statement. It's going to update posts and it's going to set the title to placeholder and then where the ID is the second value. So we're going to pass in our title and ID and that'll get replaced in there. And then again, it's going to return an affected rows property on the data, and we're just going to send that back to the user. So if we hit save, go back to Postman and do the patch endpoint, uh, we're going to look in our database and let's update this test post. So it's going to have an ID of two. So we want to do slash posts slash two. And then in the body, our title, we just want to call updated. So we'll click send. And that should be true. So if we look in our database and refresh, this title is updated. So now the updates are working. And the last one we want to do is the delete. So the route will be app.delete. And then we're going to have the same path, so post slash ID. And inside, we want to grab the ID from the params again. So we'll just copy this. And we want to call the delete method. So we'll do const results equals await db.execute. And in here, we just want to run the delete SQL. So delete from posts where ID equals, and then we're going to pass in a placeholder here. 
and that value is going to be the ID we got from the params. And we're also just going to send the same response as we have. And we'll just call this data. Okay, so if we hit save and we go back to Postman, we want to delete the second item. So if we look in our table, it has an ID of two. So this one should get removed. We click send and that was a success. And now if we refresh, that should be gone. So those are basically all the endpoints and that's pretty much it for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching and please hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. That would help me out tremendously. And also let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see next or any feedback you have. And I'll see you guys in the next one.